Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Camille. I know I've been away for a little while, been working hard and stuff, um, but I did want to come on and do another video. I will be doing another giveaway soon um, when I reach to 300 subscribers, and thank you to everyone that has subscribed thus far. I definitely appreciate it. Um, this video, I just wanted to ask a quick question, and basically from the natural community, or whatever community you belong to, whether you have perm hair, texturized hair, it doesn't matter. Um, to me, I, I'm not a natural hair Nazi, so you feel free to do whatever you need to do with your hair um, because you are in charge of your hair care. So I wanted to basically find out from you, um, do you feel that the word nappy is a bad word? Like when you hear that word, what type of emotion does it invoke within your heart? What does it make you feel? Um, you know, does it, is it a word that brings you down? Or when you hear the word nappy, is it something that lifts you up and makes you feel more enlightened? The reason I ask this question is because I've seen a few things, you know, going around like people have t-shirts that say, um, happy to be nappy. Or, you know, naturally me. Things of that nature that include the word nap or nappy in there. And I've seen on Facebook some people will slam it and say, how dare you use nappy to describe African American or Afro textured hair. And then the other group is saying, well, no, nappy isn't a bad word. And then you have a, such, such a strong divide regarding a word. Um, historically, I know that the word nappy has not have a positive connotation regarding African American history or lineage. Um, back in slavery times, you know, your hair was described as nappy in a negative. But somebody pointed out and stated, well, can't a definition change? Can't it change over time? Being directly, you know, guided by a culture, can't, don't we have the power to change our words? And I believe possibly you can, but I'm not too sure, so I wanted to get your opinion on it. My take on the word nappy is I'm torn because I've always known nappy to be um, associated with with a negative, you know, if your hair is nappy, it's, you know, I've, I've heard people when I was going up in elementary school, oh, that girl's hair is nappy, her hair is dirty. So they would immediately associate nappy hair with being dirty. So you can see as a child growing up, if you hear that word in such a negative light, as you get older and you mature, that word is going to continue to feel negative to you. Now, is a person able to overcome that and make that negative word a positive? I'm a little bit skeptical about it, so I guess I'm torn, but I'm leading more towards the word nappy as being a bad thing just because of the way it's been used um, regarding, you know, African-American appearance or how it feels to have um, Afro-textured hair. So I really want to get your thoughts and opinions on it and see, you know, how you feel about the word nappy. Would you be fine with somebody calling your hair nappy? Does it matter the race of that person? If your African-American coworker said, girl, your hair looks nappy, are you going to feel the same way as if a Caucasian coworker came up to you and said, girl, your hair looks nappy? You know, is that word just used based on your race? Or, you know, is it universal? Or is it just defined based on what that person feels? So I'm definitely interested in hearing what you all have to say. Um, thank you for responding in advance. Thanks.